Hi there Subaru owners. Today we're going to be installing Hopkins plug-in simple vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector on our 2019 Subaru Outback wagon. So with this installed you can feel safe when driving down the road hauling your trailer with your family knowing that you've got all the lighting behind you indicating to everyone around you what your intentions are and that you're going to be legal wherever you go. Our wiring harness is designed to live inside the vehicle so it'll be here in your storage compartment whenever you need it. When you're ready to use it, you simply drape it out the back and close your lift gate, making sure that you avoid the striker here in the middle. It'll pinch it between the weather stripping, holding it in place, and now it's ready for use. It won't cause any damage to it when it pinches it between the weather stripping. This harness will provide you with all the necessary lighting, which includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps and brake lamps, keeping you DOT compliant in all states. Additionally, it has a module that's part of the harness that will monitor the inputs and send it to your four pole flat trailer connector. What's nice about this is that the module is doing that. So if there's any faults on your trailer, the module will detect it and shut down that circuit, preventing any damage to the wiring on your vehicle. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle on the inside. You're gonna to wanna to remove the covers that are installed in the back. We'll also wanna remove the one on the driver's side here. The tray in the center will need to be removed. And then the foam pad on our driver's side here will need to be removed as well. There's two push pins. You can use a trim panel tool or a screwdriver to pop those out. And we can then slide this out as well. Now we'll need to remove the hook for your netting on the driver's side. So if you have your netting on, you have to remove that. And then we can access our hook there. We'll take a flat bladed screwdriver and we want to pop out the center, revealing the bolt beneath. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove that bolt. And then you can remove the entire hook. This will be enough to gain access back here. There is wiring that's gonna be located right there. So we're gonna reach in there and try and separate that wiring to pull it out. Inside the hole here, you'll see your wiring. There's some blue tape on it. We wanna pop that wiring off and work it out. So we'll just use a trim panel tool or a screwdriver to release the tab here. Pry that away from the vehicle. And now we can pull our wiring here to where we can get to it. And you want to use a razor knife to cut the blue tape. And this will allow us to separate the two harnesses that are next to each other. We're going to push that harness down towards the bottom and pull it out with our other hand. And here we have our connector. You can see the blue tape that was holding it onto that other harness. We can now plug in our new harness into our connector and we're just gonna route this heading towards the back, just tucking it up underneath the side panel as we go. So we're just tucking our wiring underneath that side piece all the way towards the back. Continue tucking it around as it curves and we'll mount our module down here next to our spare tire. The module only comes with zip ties and there's no wiring or anything in this area to actually zip tie it to to keep it secure. But due to the short length of the connector, it really does need to go here. Otherwise it won't be able to reach out the back to make your connection to your trailer. So I recommend that you go out and purchase some double-sided tape, stick that to the back of your module, and then use that to adhere it next to your spare tire on the back wall here. Now we can reinstall all of the components we just removed. We're going to start with the hook and go from there. And now with everything reinstalled, we can plug in our tester and try it out. You can test it by either plugging in your trailer or a tester like the one we have here. 
you need a tester, you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. Make sure that you have your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. With everything working properly, we're ready to hit the road. And that completes our installation of Hopkins Plug-In Simple Vehicle Wiring Harness on our 2019 Subaru Outback Wagon.